Hello everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to have you all here. I really enjoy spending time with you guys. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad to have you. And for all the older followers, come on in. Today, we're gonna to be discussing under eye bags and dark circles. I have them, just about everybody has them. This channel focuses mainly on makeup looks and skin care for mature skin. I'm 61 years old and under eye bags and dark circles just comes along with the territory. In addition to that, we're going into fall. You're gonna have pollens and different things as the leaves change and grass and everything is in the air. So that's going to contribute a little bit more to like uh, the bags and your eyes being weepy and looking dark. So if you look at my face straight on, you can see small bags under each eye and the dark circle or line there. And if I tip my head a little, it's even more pronounced. Additionally, I have dark spots on my nose on both sides where my eyeglasses sit. So we're gonna work to diminish the look of these things but they're still going to be there. You're not going to be able to get rid of everything all together, but to make your uh, makeup look, uh, look a little bit more flawless, those are the first things you should do is try to diminish the look of the darkness and the circles. So that's where we'll begin. Some popular things to use are color correctors. You can buy them in a palette or in individual pencils like this. This one here, well these here are uh, green, purple, and peach. And the different colors work for different symptoms. Such as if you have a pimple, that might be a little bit red, so you might want to use the peach color. Or if you have blemishes or darkness or acne, you want, might want to use the purple or the green color for that. Today, I'm going to be using a color corrector, and it's an orange color corrector by uh, LA Pro Girl. I'm going to be using that. And then you have your concealers that you use to brighten up those areas once you have concealed or corrected the color a little bit. So what I've done first is washed my face and today I use the Maraud Acne Control Skin Facial Cleaner. And I dried my face. The second step I'm going to be using just a small amount of the Dr. Brandt's No More Needles, No More Baggage. And this really does help to reduce like the puffiness. So what I'm gonna do is pause the video and I'm gonna apply a small amount of this onto the baggy areas and I'll be back once that dries. Okay, everything is dry now and I'm so glad that I did use the Dr. Brandt's I spoke about grasses and pollens in the air, and today my son is cutting the grass, so I know as soon as I go outside, I am going to come in contact with those allergens. So next, we're going to apply a small amount of the orange color corrector. I want to focus that on the dark spots on either side of my nose. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger. I squoze it up on the tip of the brush, but I'm going to use my finger. I don't want a lot. So I'm just going to pat this on, on both sides here.
just like this. And I want to allow this to dry. I'm going to pause again and I'll be back once this dries. Okay, now it has set up a little bit, not totally dry, but set up a little bit so that it doesn't slide across my face because I really want it to stay on these dark spots. I'm just gonna take a small beauty blender and I'm just gonna tap it into my skin. Just very lightly and kind of bounce and tap, bounce and tap. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. Bounce and tap, bounce and tap. And that kind of removes like the excess. Okay, now that I've done that, the dark spots on my nose are a lot lighter. I am going to stick some pictures up in the top of this video right about this point so you can see how dark they were compared to now. As I said before, this is to diminish the appearance. It's not gonna go away, okay? Now I am going to use my Kat Von D concealer, and this is in the color Warm 33. This is a sample size that I received in one of my subscription boxes. Um, I want to say it might have been Ipsy, but I really like this concealer. It's very moisturizing, and it's just dope. I love it. So what I'm going to do with this concealer, I'm going to go right into the line with the concealer. I'm just going to dot this on. Okay, now that I've dotted that on, I'm just gonna pull gently down on my skin and I'm gonna pat this in right into that line there to brighten up that area. And I don't wanna put it on the bag because if I do, that's gonna highlight the bag as well. So I just wanna stay right in that line and bring it down. And just a small amount helps. Can you see the difference between my right eye and my left eye? That's what we're going for. I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to finish up the other side. Okay. All right, everyone, I have my concealer in place. So what I want to do next is to set it with a setting powder. And I have some setting powder by Nika K in the color Banana. And I have a little bit of it right in this cap. So I'm not going to bake. I just want to set this concealer. So I'm going to use another clean sponge and get a small amount of that on my sponge. And I'm just gonna set this concealer. And I'm going to use the opposite side, opposite side of the sponge just to brush away any extra residue because I don't want it to cake up. Just like that. Okay, now that I've set my concealer, I am going to go in with a little bit of a uh, Primer. I'm using the Cover X FX, and this is a blurring primer. 
And what that does is to minimize the size of your pores. So if you have really large pores, this does help. And I'm only gonna use a very small amount. Um, primer sometimes can tend to uh, distort the color of your foundation and uh, you'll get like a gray or ashy look. So just a small amount. I'll apply. And I love this primer. My face always feels so silky smooth when I use it. It's moisturizing. Pretty nice primer. Okay, now that I have my primer on, just get some off my fingers here. I am going to use my uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and this is in the color Honey Amber. So I'm just gonna shake this up. I have a uh, dampened beauty blender. And this foundation is so awesome. It only takes a really small amount. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. Just a small amount. That might even be too much. I'm gonna take a little bit away. If I need some more, I'll come back for it. And I'm gonna take my finger first and just tap it onto my skin. I'm not doing a lot, a lot today. I'm just getting ready to go out to the market and just wanted to do this really quick. So now I'm gonna tap this into my skin. This foundation is awesome. And it really does last all day long. I don't think there's another foundation besides uh, the new one that I got the other day at TJ Maxx, the uh, Stella, that lasts all day long. At least not for me. I tend to uh, perspire quite a bit. And I'm always needing to do like a touch up. Okay, I am gonna get a small amount more so I can go right around my eyes. Just a little bit. That should do it. And across my nose. I really want to get here where I have the darkness where my glasses sit. And that should do it. I'm not going to do any shadow today, maybe a little lip gloss. I need to have my eyebrows done. I get them threaded. So I need to make an appointment, but I just wanted my skin just to have a healthy looking glow to it today. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can get a hot date from Mr. G in honor of our anniversary, which was Tuesday. And this is enough. We'll probably just maybe go to the show. And that's all the makeup I need to go to the show. Maybe a little mascara, if we do go. So, 
the next step will be just a little bit of setting powder. So I'm gonna pause and get one, be right back. Okay, I have my setting powder. I'm just gonna go with my standby, my CoverGirl Queen collection in the color Q415. And just a small amount, just to take some of the shininess away. It is a really warm September day. I really believe that we're in our uh, Indian summer. So I'm just gonna put a small amount of uh, finishing powder just to take away the shine. A little bit on my forehead and across my eyes here. And that will do it. My face looks completely flawless to go to the grocery store. Okay guys, I hope that this video helped to show you some tips that you could jot down for future reference. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you the next time. You guys have a great day. Bye now.